Welcome back to Zone 400. Uh, we're very much at the business end of things now. Map 28, third last map. So not yet the penultimate map, but getting pretty close to it. Gonna save the uh, Berserk Pack for later. I assume in single player, in uh, it's pistol start rather, obviously. Uh, That's the problem with having monsters walk over the top of lifts. They're very poor at it and they can get stuck and then cheapy people like me can be, oh, well, you are stuck and I'm just going to shoot you while you can't move or fire. rockets so let's okay now I'll grab you Small go over here, so there's stuff in here. Oh, Could have grabbed. Could have grabbed health there. Got to remember, there's 20 spot of health. Oh, nice. Blue armor. Okay, that did something somewhere. What and where, I don't know, but fairly obvious secret. I don't yet have a yellow key, do I? Because it's right there. Just noticed it as I jumped off. Not super visible because of the monsters getting in the way. feeling had a feeling the old secret behind the start door though a little bit more sophisticated than just the standard turn around and hit the use button and find a secret. You do 
actually have to find a fairly easy to locate shoot switch. Uh, good to see a stay open door employed here. Um, I think that there have been times in this map set where a stay open door would have been a smart thing to include. Um, and we've had a, a regular repeatably opening door. That was quite an annoying uh, Revenant rocket there. Managed to follow a big long loop around. Oh, that was quite messy. So that's probably that lift there, I'm thinking. Some of the secrets don't really feel very much like actual secrets. Like, you know, was that switch supposed to be hidden in some way and I just didn't end up having it hidden? Get rid of him. Exits up there. Haven't yet worked out the way to get there, but presumably. Peekoff does love his monster-only teleport lines. Okay. 
Thank you for um, thank you for sitting there, trying to res people, because that gave me an opportunity to just murder you. I approve. And we're up here, which has now got steps leading up to it. Okay, fair enough. Alright. Just having a quick look around for ammo. We've actually sort of gone upwards, I guess, in ammo on this map. Slightly. I just thought I'd clean up a bit more if I can find some. That was map 28. Uh, looks like only two obvious uh, secret sectors shown on the map. Another four spot of... Shotgun ammo. So that was map 28. Did indeed get all the secrets. That's a very colourful starting room with very much an obvious arena kind of ambience to it. And I can see teleporter lines all over the place. So yeah, uh, a Dermophidae will be our next map. Map 29. Okay, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I suppose commentary on the map, it was fine. I guess, like, not especially memorable, not offensive. It all played reasonably straightforward, um, at least on continuous play, which I'm playing. Um, some of the... Uh, I thought the... The teleport lines in the room with the two barons were interesting because they were quite close together. Um, the barons could, you know, could pop around. You can definitely see it would be very easy to good at doom yourself with the rocket launcher there, where you're shooting at the baron at the other end of the room and then he suddenly he's popped up right in front of you. Um, it's part of why I went into that room using the double barrel instead, also because I had a lot more double barrel ammo. Um, so yeah, um, I liked that. That's an interesting use of the teleporters. Um, some use of the teleporters, obviously, to flush things out around the map. I liked how once the yellow door was open, monsters could you know could go up on that big imp ledge. Even you could get you know some of the flying monsters could actually make it all the way through. I'd like to have seen more of that in general in the map set. Um, I'm a big proponent of never let. You know, as, as much as possible, don't let the player funnel all the monsters into one way of getting at them. Give monsters multiple paths to reach the player, because that way the player can't camp a doorway, which is, you know, it's immediately what I, you know, endeavoured to do with the, um, with the yellow door. Camp a doorway and just shoot monsters as they funnel into it. Peacock did a pretty good job on that map of avoiding that, both by having teleports that could potentially put monsters behind you and by having um, an option for monsters to get up onto that ledge and shoot down on you and give you pressure from multiple angles. So props for that. That's good. It's good, uh, good design. Well done. Um, less good is, you know... I mean, I, I think to at, this, at this point, the, you know, the barons slash demons in an exit tunnel... You know, I mean, Peekoff is having fun with the his notoriety for doing that. 
um, you know, that every map in this set, the exit is a narrow tunnel with either, you know, nothing in it or a dead pinky in it or some pinkies in it. Like every every map has had that same exit, basically. Uh, I'm sure he's he's you know he's consciously referring to the fact that he's known for the the peak off Baron or the peak off Pinky where there's a meat tunnel at the end to stop you just rushing the exit switch. Um, as you will have seen on several of the previous maps from when I'm playing from when I'm playing this, it doesn't actually stop you from rushing the exits. Well, certainly not with Pinkies. You double barrel to take them down in one shot. Uh, Barons would be a bit more, but you know you just lure them out uh, of the room and then rush past them anyway if you're really desperate to get out of the map. Oh, but yeah, I quite liked that. Um, yeah, definitely the best fight is sort of around the yellow door. Um, uh, but yeah, um, overall, uh, overall pretty good. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.